Honorable judges and justices, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to say that it's also a real honor and a privilege for me to be here, although I will say that I woke up around 3 o'clock this morning thinking I need my head examined because most people are nervous about going in front of one judge and I'm going in front of a hundred. Um, but I'm not here to make a motion or an argument. I just would like to make some observations and I hope you'll bear with me on these. Um, I don't know how many of you know that um, I started off as a lawyer. I practiced law for a few years and just kind of fell into journalism. Um, I'm older than a lot of people here and it was tough in the Midwest to be a woman, a female lawyer, and so I ended up in journalism, but I had a little bit of trouble adjusting. And I was working in Chicago as a consumer legal correspondent, and, and I got a call from a viewer, and the viewer calls me and he said, I filed a claim in small claims court against a plumbing company, but they just filed a motion and asked it to be kicked up to the circuit court. And if they do that, I'm going to have to drop the case because I don't have the money to hire a lawyer. What do I do? And I said, well, sir, go to that hearing and tell the judge. I mean, I'm sure the judge is going to understand. Go. I mean, it's not something I can do anything about, but then I worried about it. So I walked over to the court and went to the hearing. And I saw the company argue. And then I saw this viewer, this man, get up and argue, and he didn't do a very good job. And the judge said, you know, it's going to go into circuit court. Now, I have no idea what possessed me. I'm in the back of the courtroom, and I stand up, and I go, your honor, I object. <laughs> and everyone looked, you object? I mean, actually, I didn't even realize I had said it. And then I realized I had to keep going. And so the judge said, what do you object to? And I said, look, if this company really had this counterclaim that was so high exceeded the, the, the small claims court, then they would have filed it. I mean, I really believe that this was intended to make this consumer drop the case. And let's be honest then, if you, if you send this to circuit court, then aren't you defeating the whole purpose of small claims? Now, I should tell you that the company's lawyer is just going crazy saying, <laughs> Your Honor, and I also should tell you, I did preface it saying, I am not a member of the Illinois Bar. I was very worried. <laughs> so, um, and so the judge looked very amused, and he said, okay, I think you're right. And he did send it and keep it in small claims court. He also gave me a lecture never to do that again in his court. <laughs> and I wish the story had a better ending because, in fact, the viewer did go to small claims court and he lost. But I tell you that story because I did have some trouble adjusting to where my role was as just a journalist. And also it will give you a little bit of a sense of who I am and what kind of stories I like to tell. I want a story that makes a difference, that really, really counts. And, and sometimes that's not so easy.